Hello everyone, good evening. Ramaya here. Today I am going to discuss about XML file as a source and I will show you how to load into your target table. Okay. Here I have sample records that are available. Let me import and show you to load into target table. Okay. Now I am going to take XML file wherever it is available. Import XML definition under this C you can select all files. This is my XML file, EMP data. Okay, you just click on yes, then click okay. Next, here you can give the hierarchical relationship. It's not an entity, it's a hierarchical relationship. Just finish. Already I have this particular object. Okay, I'm going to replace it. Now. Control yes. Now you just create mapping now. Okay, M underscore XML source. Okay, this is my mapping name that I have. Control C. And you just to take, you just to take source, right? This is the source that we are having. And same thing, take the target also. Okay. You just to take the target. This is not the my target. Let me import target also here. Import from database. Import from database. Okay, let me provide credentials also here. Okay, I'm not sure this one. Just me check what is the uh, TRG underscore EMP data. TRG underscore EMP data is my target object. EMP data. This is my target object that I have created for XML source. Control yes. Okay. Now, yeah, this is available here, and you can give the connection information also. Okay, what are all the details that I have? Same metadata is available in my target also. Just to give the connection information. Yes, I'm done with that one. Okay, this is a simple mapping that we have. I'm not even using any uh, business logics also. Okay, let me create the session. Go to task developer under this. You just create the session also. Okay, go to tasks create yes underscore and you can give the mapping name as well xml source right then m underscore xml source let me check the xml source that i have where is having m underscore xml source one minute let me search Okay, sorry. See, what I did mistake here is this is not available in this folder, right? I am going to disconnect this one. Let me open the Informatica folder. Here I have the, I have created that particular uh, mapping, right? Yeah, just create session, right? What is my mapping name? M underscore XML underscore source, right? Creative, yeah. See here. Okay, so here we can give the source details and the target details as well. Go to mapping here. You know right where our file is available. That information you have to give under source file directory. Where is the file available? Here only this is available, right? Take this path and you can provide here. Okay, source file directory. Yes. I'm going to provide the details. Okay. Now, what is the source file name? Source file name. This is the source file name that I have. Go to properties. You can take the exact file name also. Okay. Take the file name, copy, paste. That's all. Okay. Do not give manually. Okay. Do not give manually. There is a chance to uh, get wrong file name also dot xml this is the file name that we have so this is a direct only it's not an indirect 
okay source file type is direct i am going to click on apply and uh, let me check target details also this is the relational writer right this is my table it's not a file that i am using this is a table okay what is the table connection i mean this target object connection is let me give the proper details or kill click on this one okay if you have any data you just to truncate this one truncate target table option click apply click ok control yes once done you have to create the workflow also workflow also you can create it okay m underscore xml underscore xml source right yeah click ok and you can take the relevant session name and you can give the configuration details as well control yes now run or start workflow see let me show you how many are loaded or rejected what is the statistical statistical information that we have two yeah here you just click that one then only you are able to see if you click this one you are able to see the information how many records are available same thing uh, affected to your target also let me see the data yes perfectly right whatever data that we are having same thing loaded into our target table also okay this is how you can import xml file right by providing the relationships and you can load it into by creating the flat mapping okay yeah thank you thanks for your time here